Welcome back friends. So today we are talking about the Blue Ox Sway Pro 1000. Had some pros and cons with the Blue Ox and we'll talk about that in this video. Alright, I generally like to start out with the pros on most of the stuff we review, so we'll, we won't change that here. Uh, we moved from a Husky weight distribution and sway control system to the Blue Ox, and the biggest pro with the Blue Ox is the performance. The performance is much better than the Husky. I have not dealt with the equalizers, I have not dealt with the Pro Prides or the Hensleys. I've only dealt with those two, but as far as Husky versus um, the Sway Pro, the Sway Pro easily takes out Husky in the performance category. As far as performance is concerned, you could really tell when a big rig was passing you going in the opposite direction the, uh, with, the, with the Husky hitch, you could really feel the trailer back there move a little bit. With the Sway Pro from Blue Ox, nothing. I mean, literally, you can't, I, you try to feel it, you can't feel anything. Um, as far as a big rig passing you going in the same direction, uh, you can still feel the Blue Ox just a little bit, but it performs much, much, much better than the Husky did. Second pro with the Blue Ox system is the bars. So I was, with the Husky, they had the bars, that the grease that would stick up from underneath you, and it would click in. And then to get them out, you would have to rotate them out and they would, they would fall out. Uh, and you would get your hands greasy every single time. I don't care how careful you were. If you're out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but th these bars, no grease, okay? They cl unclip right here. You just pull that pin and unhook them and there's no grease there. You can see on my hand, I have no grease on my hand there. And there's no grease to deal with back here as well. Um, we'll get in there. You do get some grease on your hands though. We'll talk about that in the cons in a minute. But as far as the bars are concerned, it's easy just to unclip them and just put them in the front storage. I don't have to worry about wrapping them up or get them getting grease on anything. That's really nice. All right, third huge pro for the Blue Ox. You do not have to hook unhook this when you're backing up, okay? Based on this design, you don't have to unhook your hitch when you're backing up. I think that's enough said there. That's, that's a big, huge plus. That was one of the main reasons I went with the Blue Ox was the reputation, but also the fact that you don't have to unhook the bars before you back into your campsite. All right, guys, so we're on to the cons. One small con to start with, even though you don't get grease here on the bar, uh, call me wimpy, but I do get grease on my hands almost every time I touch the actual hitch. So uh, it's generally only when we're leaving when I'm hooking it up or when we're coming back home and I'm unhooking it. Uh, so it's really not that bad, but I don't know, call me wimpy. I still get grease on my hands sometimes, so it's not totally greaseless. All right, one big con I've had with the Blue Ox, an issue that I had, the wrench, okay? The wrench or the saddle one, not sure which one. When these are working properly, they're great. I, I love them, all right? They're great. Um, you don't get any big whip action. Um, they're just easy to work, okay? But apparently, the problem that I had, I ended up, my first wrench and saddles, they, the wrench stripped out the saddle. Luckily, I was home, and I had a one-inch wrench, okay? If I hadn't have been, I would have been out of luck unless I could have found a big pair of channel locks, okay? So, my the explanation I was given by customer service at Blue Ox, which was great, by the way, their customer service is killer, but, um, the information I was given, apparently my first wrench and my first set of saddles were produced in two different casting facilities. So the saddle didn't match my wrench exactly perfect and therefore it stripped it out over time, all right? So their solution was to send me a new set of saddles. Well, I told them, I said, well, I would appreciate it if you could send me a new wrench as well because I'm not so sure if that set of saddles was cast in the different facility than my wrench. So if you could, please send me saddles and wrench from the same facility. Since they sent me the new saddles, the new wrench, it's been uh, about 10 months now, I guess. I've had absolutely no signs of stripping on this nut. The wrench works great. Uh, so that issue is solved completely. All right, third con with the Blue Ox system. If you're not backed up completely straight in your campsite, or if you're, if you're in a pull through and you're having to do the, the little maneuver to right or left, um, sometimes, and this doesn't happen very often, sometimes these saddles can bind a little bit, all right? Um, it's not a severe issue. If you're, uh, if you're up straight up and down, you should be good. Now, I will say, if you're too far forward or too far back, you're gonna have that binding issue 
for sure, okay? But the only time I ever have it is if I'm not straight in the campsite. If I, had, if I backed in straight, um, I have to maneuver a little bit. Or I have a little bit tougher time getting these off. They'll bind, but they'll still come off. I've never had a dangerous situation, so let me be clear about that. It's, they're just more difficult to get off. I've never had that violent whip action that could break somebody's arm that a lot of people talk about with these distribution hitches. Never had that happen, but they do bind above normal when you're uh, when you're at an angle sometimes. So that's the only that's the only other con I can really think of with the system. I hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thank you so much. Our subscriber count continues to grow and we're very appreciative to that. If you like this video, share it with your camping buddies and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks everybody.